Okay, welcome to this video series, and in this series, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a personal messaging system for your own site. Um, now, what you, what you can see here is uh, what I've done for my site. This is a personal site I've been making for myself uh, in my spare time, which when I'm not making tutorials and uh, doing various schoolwork. To be honest, it's not very much time, but I've gotten pretty far. Um, so what I'm going to show you is personal messaging system. Now, I'm using my existing site instead of just creating, uh, starting completely from scratch. Uh, now, the reason being is because you'll need some sort of user's table or something like that in your uh, MySQL database. And uh, so I already have that created, plus I've already got the design down for how I want it to be for my site. So it's just going to make it easier on me in the end. So uh, this is pretty much what it's going to be like. You can see it's, it, we're using JavaScript and some jQuery using some drop-down. Um, and now each message has two different drop-downs. It has one to show you the actual message content, and then another to reply to the message. So we're going to be creating this completely from scratch. Um, so uh, uh, let's get started. And now I learned this uh, drop-down method from Adam at developphp.com. Uh, uh, so if you don't know the site, definitely check it out. Uh, so let's get started. The very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to completely blank out my code for my inbox page, except for some design things. So all the actual code that we're going to need to uh, connect to our database and run all of our queries, get all our information from the database about the messages and whatnot, uh, I'm going to completely blank that out. Uh, so I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so I'm back. Um, and now, before I refresh the page to show you that I've actually blanked everything out, so you can look at the code here, there's, there's literally like nothing here. It's just echoing out uh, these two little boxes uh, and the title form. Uh, is, I didn't mention this before, but I'm going to show you how to make an out box. So it's going to show you your messages that you've sent, also the messages you've received, which is your inbox. So I'm going to show you how to make both of those. And those will be in two separate files. It's just for development purposes, I put them both in the same file uh, to make it a little bit easier on myself. So I refresh the page, and you can see we have no code. All we have is the things I use to design the site, to uh, get, uh, well, to design the site, and our two little boxes here. Um, so, uh, also what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to leave this for now. Um, what, which, what this is, is the messages, actually... I think I'm going to drop the table, or I'll empty the table. So we'll, we'll start from a clean table, and I'll go to structure here. You can see that I, I just blanked out the table, so there are no messages, nothing in the table for the messages um, table. And this is what it is. It's an ID, it's set to a big int, and it's an auto increment and a primary key. Uh, now, if you don't know how to create a table, and fill in the fields using PHP my admin. Uh, I guess learn because it's it's so simple. Um, so we have a two user which is set to a varchar of fifty, which is uh, because it's set to a varchar of fifty because that's the maximum length of any usernames on my site. Um, a two ID and that's going to be the individual ID for that user uh, for the user that's uh, is. Um, that is receiving the message and the from user is the exact same thing as the to user except it's whoever is sending the message the from ID is the ID of the person sending the message again uh, the subject and the content is kind of self-explanatory uh, the subject is a varchar of 200 characters uh, and the content is pretty much the message itself and it's just set to a text and also we have a date which is going to be set to a varchar of 50 because we're going to design a date and uh, have it displayed however we like, or however I like, I suppose. And if you want to change it, good for you. Um, so we click on Browse. There's nothing in the table. So we just have our structure here. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the inbox, because the inbox is, for the most part, the exact same thing as the outbox, except changing like one or two values. So it's actually kind of convenient how I made it. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to connect to our database, which my connection information is inside of a, uh, a file, uh, as I've done in all my other uh, tutorials. So we're going to require, 
and we're going to require my connect file. So it's in my scripts folder and connect.php. So we save that. So we've connected to our database. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a query. And the variable query is going to be set equal to MySQL query. There we go. Um, and what I didn't mention earlier, I don't think so, is what I've done is in my scripts.top, my scripts uh, folder, my top.php, that's essentially my entire, uh, the, the design of the site, essentially. So as soon as this loads, if I go into my scripts, and top.php, you can see at the very top of this page, we get we start the session for users, and we get the username, the user ID, the avatar, and the level. Uh, now, level, I don't actually even think that's actually set in my database. Uh, but the crucial things are username and user ID. You must, must be able to get these one way or another. I definitely recommend by uh, setting them when users log in um, using the session uh, method. So we set the username and the user ID of the current user that is logged in. So that's that. And this right here, which we'll come back to later, this is the actual uh, JavaScript jQuery code to, uh, for our, our dropdown and everything else. And then this is just the uh, other parts of the web page. So, go back to our index page, that's just everything up here. And, uh, there's something else. Oh, <clears throat> so what I've done is I get the username in the top page. So, if the username is not there, which means no user is logged in, if we come all the way down here, you can see all we do, all I've done is I echo out a message that says you must be logged in, and it makes it an H2 font. Uh, header to font and it colors it red and centers it. So that's all that does. So if you want, uh, you can get that. Now, once the series is done, I will have the source code available for download in the description, uh, which by the time you're watching this, it'll probably already be there. Uh, so let's continue on. So we're going to set our query. And so knowing that I've already set the username and the user ID uh, previously, which you must, must set to use an inbox of any type or a message system rather. So we're going to say select all from so we're going to select every single piece of data because we're going to use every single piece of data we're going to select everything from our messages uh, table um, in our database and we're only going to select where the uh, from underscore ID equals our username, so dollar sign username. So what we're doing is we're selecting every single message information, every single message that has been sent from the current user that's logged in. So I come down here, scoot over a little bit, uh, and we're going to say numrows equals mysql underscore num underscore rows, which if you've watched a lot of my videos or any of them for that matter, I pretty much always do the exact same thing is I put in a bunch and bunch of different tests to uh, check for information, make sure there's no errors or anything. Uh, so we're going to put our query right here. So we're going to say if numrows uh, does not equal zero. So if there are no messages, or if there are messages, we're going to run this block of code, which is what we're going to uh, have a while loop and get all the information about e every message. But if there uh, are no messages, we're simply just going to echo out, um, you have no messages in your inbox. Uh, whoops. And I just thought about it, and I'm sorry, but this right here should be 2ID, uh, not from ID. So that'll select every message that has been sent to this user. So. Uh, knowing the fact that we don't have any uh, messages in our database, so if we just refresh, you see we have our message, you have no messages in your inbox. So obviously it's working so far. So I'm stop this video here, this is the end of part one. So in the next video we'll continue on with the uh, scripting. So thanks for watching.